Hi, my name is Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music, today teaching you how to play the Skyhook song Mercedes Ladies. This song comes off their Ego Is Not A Dirty Word album, I believe it was the first single they released in the United States as well. Uh, here is the lead guitar intro part. So playing this then, we are going to start on the second string at fret 17. Use your dots that are on your electric guitar. Most electric guitars have got dots. Three, five, seven, nine, two dots at 12th fret, then 15, 17, 19, 21. So 17 is one of your dotted frets. And we're gonna hit that note at 17 and then quickly slide our finger along to the 19th fret. So finger numbers that I prefer to use here is slide with your third finger, 17 into 19 on the second string, and then 17s on the second string as well. Slide 17. So four of them. Slide, one, two, three the slide and then three more notes making four total. Slide, one, two, three. Your next part, a double stop, a lead guitar technique. The two notes that I'm gonna be using here, the 16th fret of the third string that I'm gonna use my big middle finger for, and I'm gonna slide into that from 14, 14 slide into 16 of third string. And then three times playing the 15th fret note on second string. So part one, part two. <clears throat> We're then going to use this part two uh, shape and idea, drag that back to the 13th fret and 12th fret. 13 of string three, and then the other note I'll play in this. 12, your double dots on string number two. So there's part three. Exactly the same technique as what I did for part two, just different frets. So part one, two, and three. One, two, three. Part four to this. I'm using my third finger to go to fret 11 on the 4th string and then drop straight down to 11 on 3rd string. Finishing at 9 of 3rd string. So 11, 11, 9, 4th string, 3rd string, 3rd string. The 4 parts. And then we get this rock and roll lick of So real Chuck Berry here. Um, what I'm playing is a hammer on. Ninth fret hammering on to 11th. And then dropping down to nine on the third string. If you don't know how to play a hammer on, look at the video that's on this channel. There'll be a little slide card appears right now, uh, taking you to a video that shows you how to play the hammer on technique. And we do this lick one, two, three, four, five, six times, and then finish it off with almost like a full stop, a ninth fret third string note. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. So if I put all this together. Other guitar parts that you'll hear on the studio recording in the intro, you'll hear a harmony guitar to this lick. So same technique, a hammer on, and then going to the string underneath. Uh, fret numbers on this occasion. Fret number seven, 
and nine of the second string. Once again, use your dots to locate that. And then ending up on string one at seventh fret. Seven, nine on the second string, first string at seventh fret. Six times of that lick, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then finishing it up on ninth fret of the third string. Or you also hear uh, a guitar doubling the, the bass riff that sounds like this. So where we play that, and this time I'll play it correctly as well, uh, sixth fret of the third string. And I'm down up picking one, two, three, four. That sixth fret of third string. Seventh fret next. And you'll put a little skip in there as a triplet style. Sixth fret. Seventh fret. Eighth fret. And then finishing at ninth. So it just depends on how many guitarists you've got in your band uh, as to which guitar parts would be appropriate to play because this does mean there's three guitar parts happening at the same time with the... the uh, harmony and the riff that doubles the bass. So you just have to pick and choose what the most appropriate thing is for you to play in your band or if you're just learning the tune probably just the is what you would select to play that's the intro guitar part the verse of Mercedes ladies and bongos rhythm guitar part to start us off He's using an E power chord, and the way I'm doing this is hitting the open top string, and then just having my first finger cover strings five and four at second fret. So open sixth string, second fret, second fret of string five and string four. And that gets hit twice. Following this, we have some single notes. It does follow typical blues rhythm guitar style playing here. So we've got our E power chord twice, and then notes four, four on the fifth string, five, five on the fifth string. Four, four, five, five. And then this lick. So I'm doing a hammer on that technique we looked at earlier. The hammer on is taking place at second fret to fourth fret of the fifth string. So two hammer to four on fifth string, two a string down, fourth string, and then finishing the riff four on the fifth string. E E four four five five hammer. Two on fourth string, four on fifth string. He then just takes this riff and drops it all down a string when the band changes to the A chord. So. Exactly the same technique, you've just moved it all down a string. And they are the two rhythm parts that you need to play Bongo's part in the verse. Uh, let's do a bit of a demo of that then. So that's all on E, A. Before it starts to move, into the chorus. The red 
Simon's verse part to Mercedes Ladies. A little bit of a lead guitar style to it. So the frets that I'm at, going right up the neck to 12th fret on the second string, and that's where I place my first finger. And then at the same time, 13th fret on the third string, the next string up. So 12 on two, 13 on three. A double stop, we call that, a lead guitar technique. And hitting them both at the same time. Then I'm taking my first finger, flattening it across fret 14 of string two and three. And then finishing, much like the same shape that I had here, 12 and 13, but moved up to 15 and 16. And I'm gonna use fingers two and three this time. So that's 15 on second string, 16 on third string, Very typical style lead guitar licks. And then this single note to follow it up. Uh, I'm starting at ninth fret, ninth fret of fifth string, and sliding straight away into 11. Hitting the ninth fret a string down, nine of fourth string, so slide nine on fourth string and then back to the 11 on 5th string. Slide, 9, 11. When the band changes to the A chord, Red moves this lick back to 5th fret. That does correspond then with the, the A bar chord. The technique will be exactly the same. So this time though, my fret numbers, I'll call those out. Five on second string, six on third string. That means I would end up flat at seven, and then eight and nine to finish out the lead bit that will fit over the A chord. The lick that he did at the end of the, the first part will now simply drop down a string. Remember how Bongo's rhythm riff dropped down a string? Well this end lead lick is now going to drop down a string as well. So that is 9 sliding into 11 now on the 4th string, 9 on 3rd string, back to 11 on 4th string. So if I give you a demo of putting that together the way it would sound in the verse, this is Red Simon's guitar part for the verse of Mercedes Ladies, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Then change to A. Back to E. And then heading into the chorus. The chorus of Mercedes Ladies, there is a lot of guitar parts happening here at once. What I'm gonna to stick to is just the chords that you'll need to play. Give you a little bit of a demo of some leads that you might try over it. Um, so the chords that we've got, fifth string bar chords. If you don't know how to play bar chords on your fifth string, click the video. There's a little card that's gonna be flashing across the screen now that uh, I'm showing you how to play the fifth string bar chords. We need the major fifth string shape for the chorus of Mercedes Ladies. This first chord I'm hitting is a B, so it's at second fret of the fifth string, B, and then we move up to seventh fret. So take the same shape, 
and move that shape from second fret, a B bar chord, up to the E bar chord on fifth string. Seventh fret is where your first finger sits. And then in passing to move back to the B, we're going to hit a D power chord and a C sharp power chord. They can be found at 5th fret of 5th string D, 4th fret of 5th string C sharp. So we get the C it is lead is. It goes. Uh, on the studio recording, there's at least three or four little guitar overdubs all happening at once over the top of that. I really recommend going and having a listen to the live Be In It version where you've got Red's replacement, Bob Spencer, and Bongo playing on that. Um, it's just rocked out, great guitar playing on it, um, and you might hear some of the lead guitar style things that I'd say Bob. Uh, was doing at Bob Spencer that is Bob was doing on there some great playing go have a listen to that to get some of the Parts um, if you'd like to request me to, to do a video on the lead guitar parts of this section leave a comment on this video um, And if I get enough comments to say show us the lead guitar bits. I certainly will But that's how you can get through the chorus the B the E D C sharp Bongo's bridge part, he's got a little single note riff that he plays, hear how it goes. So the notes that he's hitting here, once again it's based out of the B chord, just like the start of the chorus was based out of the B chord. I'm playing this up at 7th uh, fret, 7th position on the guitar, to get the B on the very top string. I have seen a video of Bongo doing it recently live where he's back at 2nd fret. Um, I just don't think that's the same tone as what we get on the studio recording, um, but it's certainly the same notes and hey, he's the guy who uh, played on the song originally, he can play it wherever he likes. I like to play it up here at 7th fret. Just to get a bit more closer to the tone that I hear on the studio recording. So I'm up at 7th fret on the 6th string and then I go to the ninth fret of the 4th string. That does create what we call an octave, so they're both the letter name B to label the pitch, to label the notes, but one is a lower B, one is a higher B. So that's 7, 9, 9 on the 4th string. And then I go back to 7th fret on the 4th string and then jump back to that B at the 9th fret. I then move along to 11th fret. This is all on the 4th string. And then back to the B's at 9th fret. So if I call out just purely fret numbers here, the only note that's on, not on the 4th string is note number 1. So that's on 7th fret of 6th string, so we've got 7, then 9, 9, 9, 7, 9, 11, 9, 9, 9. got Bongo's riff that he starts the bridge with. The riff, the riff that Red is playing in the bridge sounds like this. So it starts at the same place Bongo did, the 7 on the very top of the string because it's based around B. 7, and then on 5th string, 9, 9, 7, 9.
And then these four notes to finish out part one, or the first half of this lick. Fourth string, seven, six. Fifth string, nine, seven. Seven, six on fourth, nine, seven on fifth. He then will play the first part of it again and finish the uh, bridge part for red like this. So a string bend taking place ninth fret of the third string, a return to the normal ninth fret, seventh fret of third string, so bend at nine, return at nine, seven, all on the third string, and then finish up at the ninth fret of string four. First half, second half. To end the bridge, two licks to show you, a lead guitar part. They use this lick to start the version that's heard on live B in it. So what I'm doing here, this is a very country lead guitar influenced part. I've got my third finger already set up at 12th fret of the second string. And I'll use my first and second finger on third string to perform a string bend. It's a string bend of a tone, which means we're trying to push the string until it sounds like the note that's two frets higher, which is labeled as a tone in music theory, a tone higher. And I'm pushing that bend, holding it. This is 11th fret of third string, bend, and then I'm hitting that note that I've already got sitting at 12th fret of second string. And then I bring the bend down. So bend, 12, return. Nine on third string. And finishing at 11 on the fourth string. Bend, 